Hi, it's the Dark Master here, back again for the next episode review. This time it is Lego Ninjago, Sons of Garmadon, episode 76, The Jade Princess. This episode picks right back up where the last one left off. It turns out that Princess Humi wasn't kidnapped, rather, she left to give food to the orphans and the needy. Pretty cool. I mean, I know that trope is overdone to death, but here's the thing. In my opinion, just because something's a trope doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's always good to, you know, encourage children to be nice to people. And don't be a rich, uptight princess. Even, I mean, I think the world needs more of those. But, um, hey, you know, you didn't come for my political opinions. You came here for an episode review. So how does the episode go from there? Well, the plot goes as follows. Lloyd and the other ninja make sure to look out after the royal family. But, you know, Lloyd and the princess get caught, and um, Hutchkin threatens her by saying, threatens him by saying, If you know what's good for you, you will stay away from her. He's totally not a bad guy. But, um, yeah, so then comes, then, you know, Lloyd and the other ninja kind of, you know, train and they tease him about having a boyfriend, having a girlfriend, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little tired today. They tease him and about his deeper voice, ah, ha, 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 I, I like how the seasons decide to take a, a like a, take a shot at its own changes like for example they addressed time travel in the last episode now they're making fun of his voice change you know cool but um yeah so then it turns out Cole's mother died wow I mean I knew they were going to reveal about something about Cole's mom but that was dark this season really is going to be dark and he Cole promises to himself that he will find Master Wu. It's... Man, that was honestly a heartfelt moment for me. Anyway, then then he sees... Lloyd sees that Hutchkins is going into a secret corridor and it reveals that there are bombs. No, Cole sees bombs that are like zap, sap, or something. It's not, it's some sort of explosive sap. Hey, hey, don't make fun of it. There are literal plants that do explode. Like, I've been to the Outback. But, um, yeah. Then, boom! Sons of Garmadon show up. Including Ultraviolet and, oh boy. She can really yell. And... I joked about it, but she is vo voiced, I think, by the same person that voiced Rainbow Jack. She, If not, she sounds just like her. I'm, I'm not kidding. And I'm not a brony, but I noticed that. Anyway, they end up... G Mr. E puts on the mask, growing four pairs of arms. Which is, we've never seen that before. <laughs> Jay makes a joke about that. It's hilarious. But... Then, from then on, they have a massive fight scene, which is one of the best choreographed fight scenes in Ninjago. Not my favorite. I prefer the Wu and Gar Garmadon versus the Time Twins more. But maybe that's because I like Hands of Time. I'm, I'm one of the few people that likes that season. Anyway, it turns out the Mask of Deception was a fake, and Hutchkins gives Lloyd and Harumi... The real one. Da, da, da. There's a bit of a chase scene involving the two of them. And, and as Ultraviolet steals the masks away from them. And they try to get it. And they end up going to the Destiny's Bounty. Where they can escape the Sons of Garmadon. Which is very interesting. And so, yeah, this episode was pretty fun. And by the way, the royal family dies. And so does Hutchkins. So 
anyone's fan theories that Hutchkins was Mr. E, I think are pretty much blown out of the water at this point. Either he's dead or kidnapped, but like I don't think he is Mr. E. And man, I really want to know who that guy is now. Like I've watched ahead of it into episode 77 and we still don't really get anything about him. Her, whatever. I'm not assuming gender share. But yeah, that's for next time. What are my thoughts of this episode? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It had a few flaws. I felt the kind of the cold backstory kind of came out of nowhere. It's appreciated. I think it's appreci It's amazing that we're getting some character development for Cole. But it it's just kind of felt, felt like put in there to help pad out the time. But hey, you know, that's one more thing for Cole. And, you know, people say Cole doesn't get any character. And I think this pretty much disproves that argument. And and we get a, our look at the Mask of Deception. And no offense, but, like, something about that specific mask is messed up. I mean, the other two masks, I look at them in hand and they look kind of cool. I, I, I still... But, like, that face, I think the mouth is put too up high on its body, and it would have looked better if it was put a little lower. I mean, it looks like he was punched in the face. I mean, I don't doubt that the first Spinjitchi Master... Oh, that's going in the spoilers. I'll, I'll, I'll have to leave you off here, but, it's like, that, that mask it looks off. But, um, yeah. So, what are my thoughts on this episode? Amazing. I think I've really said everything I have to say. Um, this has been the Dark Master. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you like to see more episode reviews and Lego set reviews and other videos, please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a nice day. Peace out.